Now, it's the second of tonight's writing awards. This one is for drama. And to present it, please welcome the flamehead goddess of Albert Square. It's the incomparable Patsy Palmer. Hello, lovely people. <laughs> Thanks for asking me to come tonight. I'm very honoured to be here. And I actually get to hold a BAFTA on the stage on my own and say thank you. Because <laughs> without you lot, us lot wouldn't even have a job. So thank you very much. And I should thank my husband. No. Right, I'll get on with it, shall I? I don't like to go off script. It gets on the nerves of all the writers. So, um, I'm trying to be funny, but I'll be shut up. British drama has never been stronger and healthier, so just to be nominated in this category is an accolade in itself. So let's take a look at the nomination for Writer Drama. Writer Drama. Oh, God. I Chris Chibnall, Broadchurch. Oh, he has tea at my house. He's my boy's best friend. Oh, God, Beth, does Beth know? All right, calm down, DS Miller. You don't understand, I know that boy. Shut it off, oh, be professional. Shut it You're off. working a case now. <sighs> Alec Hardy. I know, you got my job. Really? You want to do that now? You don't even know who he is. Tell me. Danny, Daniel Latimer, 11 years old, goes to school with my boy Tom. The worst side effects for me are the flashbacks. Dominic Mitchell, in the flesh. of the last person I. When, when, I, when I was in my untreated state, um, me and another dead PDS sufferer, we hunted together and we went to the supermarket and uh, this girl was there and it's so vivid what, we did, what, what I did to her. But when I found him, he wasn't dead. And I should have called an ambulance. But I didn't. Sally Wainwright, last tango in Halifax. And instead, I just watched him die. I told you she didn't call an ambulance, but it were worse than that. She'd finished him off. I can lower my heart rate, pick locks, and if I was handcuffed to a radiator, I could escape by dislocating both my thumbs. Dennis Kelly. Utopia. Why? Look out your window, Ian. When the shit hits, Wilson Wilson will not... Oh! Slivovitz! Brilliant. It's Polish. It'll make us go blind. Do you want to see my nuclear fallout shelter? to Dominic Mitchell for In the Flesh. Thank you so much. I did not expect this at all. Um, I'd just like to thank, uh, well, just everyone really. Um, I'd like to thank BBC Three and Zai Bennett for taking a risk on the show. I'd like to thank uh, Hilary Martin and Simon Judd, uh, who are just uh, fantastic. I'd like to thank uh, John Campbell, the visionary director of In the Flesh. Um, Annie Harrison Baxter, who was the super producer, uh, my great agent, Tanya Tillett, uh, just the cast and the crew who really brought my whiz to life. Uh, they were just fantastic. And um, yeah, and just and my family for supporting me and loving me and making sure that I was here tonight accepting this award. It's fantastic. Thanks so much. Thank you. And this is the BAFTA for Entertainment Craft Team, sponsored by HotCam. To make the first presentation, a wonderful actor, star of Silent Witness, amongst many others, please welcome Amelia Fox. Good evening. 
It goes without saying that many of us here tonight wouldn't be able to do what we do without the hard work, dedication, and talent of those behind the scenes. And when it comes to the entertainment shows nominated in this category, that involves a huge team all pulling together, all excelling at their craft, and all producing an end product that is loved by millions. It's a superhuman effort by people who, in my experience, often are superhuman. Let's take a look at the nominations. Entertainment Craft Team. Welcome back to Shop Night Takeaway. Patrick Doherty, Kevin Duff, Kim Gavin, Andrew Milligan, Anton Dex Saturday Night Takeaway. It's Michael Bublé! <laughs> Bernie Davis, Errol Ellis, Hugh Thomas, Keith Ware, Doctor Who at the Proms 2013. <laughs> Alex Hartman, Saul Gittins, Dan Evans, Amma Iqbal. Dynamo, Magician Impossible. Gentlemen, the time has come. James Hart, Dan James, Andy Hodges, Top Gear. Oh, you're joking! What I'm saying is, we turn this town into a street circuit. <laughs> oh, no. Ow! He's looking good there, looking good. And the BAFTA goes to... Patrick Doherty, Kevin Duff, Kim Gavin, and Andrew Milligan for Anton Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway. There's a writer here, and I'm being asked as a production designer to say something, which is a bit odd. But listen, thank you very much. Um, thank you to BAFTA. Thank you to the wonderful ITV team, um, Richard Becker, Pete Hogden. It's a real honour, actually, to, to have something like this. So thank you very much. I'd like to pass you over to the rest of the team. Thank you. Um, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Ant and Deck, who are a pleasure to write for, um, according to my contract, and um, to my amazing wife, obviously to Graham Linehan's wife, who doesn't get thanked enough, and um, I'm off back to my day job as the headmaster from Educating Yorkshire. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you to my wife. Whoops. Uh, thank you to my amazing sound team who worked so hard for me, and a big thank you to my wife, Chris, and thank you, ITV. Thanks to everybody, thanks to BAFTA. Thank you. Right, our penultimate awards tonight are Director Factual and Director Fiction. And to present the first of those awards, a newsreader and television presenter who some might call a serious journalist, but not those of us who've seen him at two in the morning in a leopard skin onesie. Ladies and gentlemen, Krishan Guru Murthy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Shh. 
Um, I'd better thank my wife as well, as I suspect I won't ever get a chance to, to do it properly. But um, we've got four incredible nominees in this category, all of whom deal with very serious subjects, and thanks in no small part to the direction, they do so in a way that's accessible, engaging, and very thought-provoking. So let's take a look at all of them. Director, Factual. We've got lads here that are, doing, are 20 years old, that are on their fifth sentence. Lee Phillips, Her Majesty's Prison, Aylesbury. 14-year-old boy terrorises his neighbourhood, you know. <laughs> Big boy level. You don't even want to give us the money and that, probably torture you first, smack you up with a hammer in your head or something, or burn your toes with a, basically a Bunsen burner. Then after that, if you see our face, then we have to kill you, innit? And I urge you to analyse, probe, test, challenge, test again. Nick Holt, The Murder Trial. But I invite you, ladies and gentlemen, that once you've done that, you will find that justice requires one outcome. And I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, to find Nat Fraser guilty of the murder of Arlene Fraser. Thank you very much. 19. She got home and did not lock the door. And it happens to anybody. Jeez. Sarah Hardy, oh. Blue Ryan, oh, The Unspeakable Crime, friend. Rape. He is 32. The male grabbed him from behind. She's eight. Sexual assault by his second cousin. The youngest case that we've seen here was three weeks old. And the eldest, 96. An 80-year-old female. He's a friend, aged 88. David Brindley, Grace Reynolds, Educating <sighs> Yorkshire. I want to thank you today for letting me speak in front of all of you. I want to ex especially thank Mr Burton for, ha for ha helping me overcome my stammer. And I hope the best for all of you, all my fellow students and teachers. And the BAFTA goes to Nick Holt for the murder trial. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I wouldn't be standing here today without the, um, the expertise and support of quite a few people. So, very briefly, uh, Windfall Films, who doggedly, determinedly felt that this is something that, that could be done. Um, my outstanding editor, Ben Brown, Mark Raphael, and Channel 4. Um, I think for the majority of this project, I felt that I was digging myself into a very, very deep hole indeed. I had no answers, uh, no guarantees of being able to put anything on the screen, but they were there with me side by side, spade in hand. Um, so that was a huge, huge support. Um, and this is much appreciated. Many, many thanks. And to present the award for director fiction, please welcome a multi-talented performer who recently so brilliantly played the murderer Malcolm Webster in The Widower. He writes, he acts, he did my hair and makeup this evening. It's Rhys Shearsmith. Thank you. Yes, it's uh, great to be here. Great to have a night off from the murder and psychopaths and the gruesome evil and the debauchery, although with the after-show party looming... <laughs> um, <laughs> barrel of laughs. OK. So the nominations tonight are all uh, in this category. They're all brilliant, compelling works. Uh, they're not only um, innovative in their direction, but they're also truly cutting edge. Let's have a look at them. Director, fiction. The body of a young boy was found on the beach. Let him finish. Let him finish. I 
besides you. Uh, plenty of kids have those shoes. Sorry, you talk. James Strong, Broadchurch, episode one. We believe it's Danny's body. <laughs> Was it him? <laughs> We will leave no stone unturned. Every gun, every bullet will be brought to me for inspection. Now, take your positions. Otto Bathurst, Peaky Blinders. Jane Campion, Garth Davis, Top of the Lake. What do you like about Bones? Chilies, sand, bleach. A spoon. Mark Munden, Utopia. Is this about Utopia? I didn't even know BJ. I'm gonna rub chilies into your eyes, then sand, then bleach. Then I'm gonna use the spoon. And the BAFTA goes to Otto Bathurst, the Peaky Blinders. Thank you. Um, lots of people to thank. Many of them are here tonight as nominees, which is terrific, though also slightly embarrassing because it exposes my modus operandi, which is employ brilliant people and just stand back and let them do their thing. Um, so all of them, Steve Knight, the writer, Karen Manderback, all of Tiger Aspect. But there are two people who I'd like to dedicate this to. Um, who are truly the unsung heroes of Peaky Blinders. Um, the line producer, Brian Kaczynski, and, and most of all, who, in the face of extreme adversity, managed to make this into what it is, Katie Swindon, the producer. Thank you very much. So that brings us to our final award of the evening, the BAFTA Special Award for Outstanding Contribution to the Television Industry. To present it, an actor who can't half dance and a dancer who can't half, well, dance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cara Toynton and Anton Dubeck. Hello. I think I've forgotten everything, though, now, actually. <laughs> Surely not. Yes. I'm Surely not so. forgotten everything by a man with no shirt on who could teach <laughs> you so one excellent trousers. I remember trousers. The BAFTA <laughs> Special Award tonight is being awarded to Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> it's been a wonderful, for me personally, having been involved with the show since the very beginning, and having worked with these incredibly talented people, they, just, they just go on and on and on. There seem so many of them. They're all remarkably talented, hundreds of them. And <laughs> there's, to be able to put a show on like that, a live show every week, I've, it, it is, as you all know, it's an enormous achievement. It's absolutely brilliant. And you're all beyond words. I love you all. Thank you. Camera on me only, preferably. <laughs> More, some of the hair, brilliant. And my journey to the final was uh, made possible not only by my dedicated dance partner at the time, but 
um, by the incredibly talented myriad of people behind the scenes who make this show so special. Um, it brings together people from all walks of life to participate, to dance, to watch, to enjoy. Did you see, I sort of did my own thing and then I went back to the screen, which wasn't a good idea. <laughs> but we, I am so honored to be here and uh, um, it's a real privilege to present this to Nikki tonight, the wonderful director of Strictly Come Dancing. Congratulations. Let's have a look at some of your favorite moments. Before you come up. In a minute, wait, wait. We have moments, a decade of moments. the ingredients that make Strictly such a continuing success and keep audiences of all ages coming back for more. As with the dancing, it's team collaboration and hard work that keep the challenge of this live show fresh and exciting. It's the combination of the drama, of the lighting effects and the precision of the camera work. of the musical arrangements and the innovative sound design. It's the glamour of the makeup and hair design. It's the romance of the costumes. atmosphere created by imaginative sets and is enhanced by the danger of life stunts. And all pulled together by creative direction and the multi-talented production team which combine to create the magic that is Strictly, the nation's favourite family show. Many, many congratulations to the Strictly amazing team. Strictly Come Dancing. Now, Nikki Parsons, hard to beret your way up to the stage. <laughs> the director of Strictly. Oh, and the whole team. really emotional watching that. I'm so proud of all of us this evening. And we're not all going to speak. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get this up and done with really quickly, but there's a lot of things I want to say thank you for. Um, on behalf of the team, I would like to say the biggest thank you to BAFTA for this special award. Strictly is a challenging and exciting show to work on, and to have 10 years of hard work and talent recognised by BAFTA is a huge honour for all of us. The show is extremely popular with our viewers, who deserve the very best of BBC production values, which our team have continued to deliver because of the sex of success of the UK version. <laughs> it has been sold worldwide to 50 territories. <laughs> um, as a team, we have worked on the show for a long time and are privileged to have helped make Strictly into the success it has become. 
Many of us have worked on the show since day one. For example, Mark, our lighting director, and Patrick, our production designer, who are on stage. They've both been in television almost as long as Sir Bruce. We'd like to thank the fabulous execs and their production teams who have trusted us to deliver the highest production values that they demand. The first of those being the lovely and much missed Richard Hopkins. Karen Smith, Sam Donnelly, Moira Ross, Andrew Hamilton, Glenn Coomer, and for this last series, the fantastic Louise Rainbow. And of course, thank you to our biggest supporters, Katie Taylor and Joe Wallace. Big thanks to the generous Hot Cam team who hosted an evening for us on Friday, from which we're still all recovering. <laughs> thanks to the dancers, celebrities, the judges, Claudia, Tess, and the King of Entertainment, Sir Bruce Forsyth, who sadly we'll be seeing less of on the dance floor in this coming series. We're holding an open audition for his replacement over at Table 9 during dinner, if any of us would like to show you, <laughs> if you'd like to suggest what you can do. Hold yourself back, Anton. Finally, <laughs> we wouldn't be here without the talent and hard work of every single member of our individual teams. And we want to say a huge collective congratulations to all of them and to everyone who has been part of the show for the last 10 years. Thank you very much from the entire team on the stage this evening. Thank you. Well, there we go. That's it. Dinner is on its way. Congratulations to all our winners and congratulations to the nominees. Have a good night. Thank you.